Okay, let's take a look at an example where a company is trying to figure out if they should eliminate an unprofitable segment. It says top managers of Family Time Movies are alarmed by their operating losses. They are considering dropping the DVD line. The company's accountants have prepared the following analysis to help make this decision. Total fixed costs will not change if the company stops selling DVDs. That's very important. So it says prepare an incremental analysis to show whether Family Time Movies should discontinue the DVD product line. Will discontinuing DVDs add 28000 to operating income? Well, their question is asking, because if we eliminate this line and we get rid of this $28,000 loss, then in theory you would think that our Blu-rays, or actually our total company, would go up by the amount of the loss, by $28,000, in which case we would be in the black. The problem with that scenario is that when we eliminate the DVD line, which you can see here, when we eliminate that line, we're going to get rid of the revenue and the contribution margin. What we are not going to get rid of are these fixed expenses at total $74,000. And that is because total fixed costs will not change if the company stops selling DVDs. So those fixed costs now need to be absorbed by the Blu-ray disc line. And if that's the case, um, this definitely will be a big no. Let's go on and look at the second part of the problem. So it says, let's assume that the company can avoid $29,000 of fixed expenses by discontinuing the DVD product line. Okay, so essentially what they're saying, we can get rid of this line. We're going to get rid of all of the revenue, all the variable expenses, and $29,000 of the fix. So if we're getting rid of $29,000, let us say that our manufacturing costs drop down to $30,000. So then what happens? So our total, we can just carry across 301 for revenue because we got rid of DVDs. Variable expenses are still 155 then, and our contribution margin will be 146. Now our fixed cost manufacturing will only be 109,000, which is the Blu-ray division plus 30,000 of the DVDs. Remember, we can't get rid of all of those expenses. Our marketing costs are uh, not going to go away, so 57,000 plus 15,000 gives us 72,000 for marketing and administrative fixed costs. So now we can take our contribution margin of 146, subtract the fixed manufacturing cost of 109, and the variable manufacturing cost of 72, and let's see what we get there. And it looks like we will still be in the hole $35,000. Now that's worse than what it was before, right? If we kept producing the DVD line, we're only losing 18000 In this case, if we quit producing the DVD line, since we cannot get rid of all the fixed costs, our losses will grow to 35000 So that is certainly not a good strategy. Let's look and see what happens if this time all the fixed costs assigned to DVDs are fixed direct fixed costs and can be avoided if they quit selling the DVDs. The problem is marketing has concluded that Blu-ray disc sales would be adversely affected by discontinuing the DVD line because retailers want to buy both from the same supplier. So Blu-ray disc production and sales would decline by 10%. What should the company do? Okay, so let's do a kind of a before and after picture here. So we can say this would be before, and this will be after. So before, we had sales of 301,000. Well, if we're going to reduce that by 10%, that means my sales will drop to 270,900. And our variable expenses would also go down then if our sales are dropping by 10%. And those will go down to 139.5. Just take 90% of the existing number. 
So my contribution margin then falls to 131.4. Which is fine. Now um, these fixed costs are going to remain the same though. So we will have them still at 79,000. We are only able to get rid of the DVD fixed costs. So 131.4 minus 79,000 minus 57,000 puts us at a loss of $4,600. Okay, so if we compare that to where we were at before, we had a loss of 18, oops, sorry about that. We had a loss of $18,000. You can see right here. Now we're down to a loss of $4,600. If that's the case, then this is the better scenario. And we would go ahead and do that. A loss of 4,600 by discontinuing DVDs. Assuming we can get rid of the fixed costs, even if it affects Blu-ray discs by 10%, is preferable to continuing to sell DVDs and taking an $18,000 loss. That is a difference of $13,400 between those two alternatives. $18,000 and $4,600 is a difference of $13,400. So we would be $13,400 better off to get rid of the DVDs assuming we get rid of the fixed cost even if we have to take a 10% loss.